What's up, guys, and welcome back to the John Key channel. Uh, I'm going to make this pretty quick and straight to the point. Uh, about a month ago, I tried the Olight Osight Red Dot Reflex Sight on my Glock 19. And about a month ago is when initially it came out. And I said I would come back to this in about a month. So four weeks later, we're here. And I've been using the Osight on my Glock 19 uh, primarily. And I got to say, I, I like this sight. <laughs> That's, people are going to be in the, in the comment section already hating on me. Whatever, I don't care. But like, I've seen videos on this and I do touch a little bit, uh, you know, in that previous video that people just didn't like it right off the bat because it was Olight. I put it on my Glock 19. I did a slight torture test, which in my mind, like I'm not even doing that to my optics regardless if it's an Olight, so why would I do it? But because it was Olight and it's the new Osight, I'm like, all right, I'm going to prove to you guys that I have a good one. And so when I say I have a good one, I literally mean... That red dot is plain as day. It's crisp. It's clear. The window is large. It's got a good field of view. I mean... Other than this being a, a reflex open sight, I mean, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan of the red dot. I, uh, man, it's, I don't know, something about it. It does remind me of the Defender. Uh, I believe the one by Vortex. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else you guys want me to say, but I guess this is... Being four weeks into it, being that I've shot almost, I think, just about a thousand rounds through this Glock 19 with the Osight Red Dot, I mean, it 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 works, you guys. Uh, for those of you who got like don't like it or you guys are bashing this specific Red Dot, maybe you got a bad sight. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I got the fluke. Maybe I have the good one, you know? Like, when I'm shooting, that red dot does not go in and out. It doesn't disappear on me. It doesn't fade in and out. It's there. It's crisp. It's bright. It's a bright red reticle. I mean, <laughs> I mean, other, other than, like, you know, I guess I, I can continue trying to just torture test it, like, oh, hold on. I should probably get rid of that mag. <laughs> Like, I could do this a little more, but, like, what's that going to prove? And also, I never do this to my other sites regardless, so just because it's Olight, I have to torture test it. I mean... You know, like, I'm, I'm damaging my table more than damaging this O site. So just from, let's see here. Can I still see the red dot? Red dot, red dot is still there. The window has not been broken, has not been damaged. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty cool sight, you know? <laughs> if I go to wiggle the sight, it's dirty. I mean, it's not moving anywhere. It's still there. I'm not using any special plate to mount it on the Glock 19. I'm not using any Loctite. I'm not using any special screws. I'm using the screws that they provide in the box. I got to say, to me, it's been proving itself in the last four weeks that I've shot this out here on the range. I mean, you do have to admit, maybe Olight did provide an actual quality optic for us. For the people who want to get into red dots or that don't have any red dots on their guns right now, they want to get into that market, which there's a whole ton of different red dots, red sights, from reflex to closed emitters. I mean, there's so much. But for Olight and their fan base just being lights uh, or weapon lights or just lights in general, they saw the need to go into the red dot market because, hey, some of their fans might be in, in the market for a red dot. So it makes sense to me business-wise why they would do something like this. Now, as a former police officer, would I be running the O site on my duty gun? I honestly, I don't know. 
this has not been tested for the last, you know, five plus years. So I can't really say something uh, to that effect, but I wouldn't trust it to go on, on duty just because it has not been proven by other people uh, and it's not been tested in that arena. And I feel like that's pretty fair, right? But for the person, like I said, who wants to get into Red Dot or wants to just go to the range and plink around or wants to get an affordable Red Dot site for their plinker, the O site is a pretty good viable option in my opinion. Okay, now I got to reload. <laughs> the fact that I think people just gripe about it because it's O light. And honestly, like, who cares? I think their quality control has gotten better on all fronts, uh, especially, you know, if they're going to provide a red dot site, it's like, hey, you might want to have some really good quality, quality control. And I think they do provide that. To the other YouTubers that have red dots from Olight that are just pretty bad or they broke, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that just is bizarre to me. I don't know why I got a really good one or one that works, but I'm telling you right now, <laughs> not once has this red dot disappeared, fade out, uh, blinked on me, N none of that. So it's just pretty crazy, pretty wild that I got the, the quote unquote good one. I don't really know. All right, I'm all loaded. For those of you wondering, I'm using ETS magazines uh, for this demonstration here. So. I mean, like I said, let me do this. Like I said, I mean, I don't know what else you guys want me to do, but like, I just can keep smashing it, you know, to see if the window will break. Yeah, I mean, just looking at it, like I said, it's damaging my table faster than it's damaging the actual site. So let's see. Red dots there. It's not going anywhere. It's not fading out on me. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you have to admit, it's pretty impressive that this specific O site has done so well. And even now, that red dot, clear as day. What I do like about the O site, though, is that uh, it's just, it's got a large window. The field of view is pretty good. And that glass is, it's very crisp. Uh, it's not foggy. It's not muddy. I mean, there's no fading. There's no green tint wash on the glass, and it's good. Honestly, I don't know what else to say besides the people who are going to hate on this product are the people who have hated Olight or dislike Olight or have not tried their products in the past. And maybe they have and maybe they just don't like them because other YouTubers say so. It is what it is. I don't really care. I'm just telling you guys that based on my experience in the last four weeks, how this site has performed on my Glock 19, it's a pretty good site. This is in that ballpark of, hey, I'm going to start getting to optics. I want one. Let me grab an O site for a good, fair, decent, affordable price. Really take what I say with a grain of salt. I mean, if you dislike O light, then you dislike Olight. I'm not going to change your mind. I'm not trying to change your mind. But I do feel like as someone who is into firearms, likes firearms, likes all things gear, and I see a lot of people bashing on the new O site, and mine isn't bad, that it's actually really good and functional, and it's intended to, to work how it should work. I just feel like I need to be the one to come on here and tell people that, hey, mine works. Maybe you, you might get one that works for you too. I mean, did that have a round in it? No, I thought, I thought it did. Guys, this isn't some fancy review on, on the O site. It's it's a real world, real life review. I've used this for the last four weeks. It works well. Say what you want about Olight and the new Osite, but has worked flawlessly. I'm going to keep it on the Glock 19. And with that being said, guys, that is all I have for you today. Maybe I'll do another video in three or four months to see how it holds up, or maybe I do an actual torture test, but I don't think I would want to do that because you would never do that to your gun if it was holstered or if you were carrying it every single day for protection. Like, that's just not a thing. So what I would like to see is Olight to come out with a
emitter red dot. Now that is something I'd be very interested in. But anyway, here's the O site. It's worked well for me. Maybe if you buy one, it'll work well for you. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.